Hi, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I am Chloe, and I'm here with Jackson, and we're super excited to tell you about our new autopilot feature. So this is uh, a new launch feature that is great for users with a ton of products or a ton of messy campaigns that really want to reorganize everything into a structure that works really well with Solozo's Optimizer. So Jackson, why don't you show us how it's done? Thanks, Chloe. First thing you want to do is navigate over to the left sidebar and select Autopilot. It'll bring you to this screen here, where all you have to do is create a new Autopilot group. So you hit this button. And so here is a pretty important step. You want to create a, um, a product group. And so it's really important to think about how you want to structure this. Um, there are many different use cases. But for example, say you have a, a list of ASINs that have the same ACOS target. Um, you would want, you want to consider putting those ASINs into the same product group. Um, but for this example, I'm just going to do a few random ASINs just to demo it. We go to next. We want to name the, the campaign or the product group. We'll just do test one. And then this is the other the other level levers that are important to consider. So keyword discovery level, depending on how much budget you have and how aggressive you want to be with your targeting, you would select either low, medium, or high. So low, what that would do is transfer keywords that convert from an automatic campaign directly into an exact match campaign. Medium would do auto campaign to phrase match campaign and then to op, uh, exact match campaign. And high would do auto to broad to phrase and then ultimately to exact. Um, and so each different keyword discovery level will have a different uh, budget recommendation uh, to make sure that your campaigns are performing well. So I'm gonna select medium, keep the budget. We'll increase it a little bit to 25%. Leave it at a 50% ACOS target. And then all you have to do is press apply. Awesome. And so each of these selected parent ASINs would get put into their own ad group into the campaign flow. Um, and and those, that flow would be, again, if you did um, you know, low, medium, or high, it depends on how many campaigns would be in that flow. Is that correct? That's correct, yeah. Awesome. Okay, cool. So that budget that we saw there, um, tell us about that. Is that going to be for the campaign or is that the whole group? Uh, what do what our users need to be aware of? Yeah, absolutely. So that budget is actually for every campaign within that product group. And so what the system will do is it'll distribute that budget across the campaigns uh, in order to deliver the most profitable results. Um, so that budget is shared with all the, the campaigns that Autopilot will create. Okay, perfect. So if you had a you know low discovery, just auto to manual, and you had twenty dollars in that box, essentially it, it would start by uh, you have twenty dollars for the auto and the manual together, and it would rebalance maybe um, you know twelve here, eight here, depending on performance. Exactly. Awesome. Okay, so tell us about what happens to the other campaigns once uh, once this is launched, because the whole idea with autopilot again is to get uh, everything really reorganized, and um, how how I understand it is once the um, you know, the autopilot is launched, the other campaigns for that ASIN will be paused. That's exactly right. So it's important to note that when you do create an autopilot um, uh, ad group uh, campaign, every, every single pre-existing campaign that has that ASIN in it will be paused. Um, so that's important to note. Um, so you're not surprised when those campaigns no longer serve. Okay, wonderful. And um, also, I hear that when the uh, autopilot is created, if there are pre-existing, um, you know, specific ad groups for those specific ASINs, the data will be transferred um, if relevant. Now, that makes sense if you've been running, um, you know, one of those, you know, that, that, uh, a campaign um, structure that has one keyword, you know, one ASIN. Um, that should all get reorganized for you and actually transfer the old keyword data. However, if it's really messy and you have multiple ASINs per ad group because of the way Amazon's data works, we're not able to separate that all out. And so we actually won't transfer any keywords. You'll essentially be starting over. Exactly. Yeah. So if the campaign historical campaigns were one ASIN per ad group, then that data will be um, integrated into the system and then used um, and the system will use that to make um, optimization decisions. Okay, awesome. And then how about um, editing this after the fact? Can users go into campaign or PPC manager and find the campaign group and make uh, make adjustments there? Yep, uh, similarly to uh, just editing um, campaigns that you've managed in Solozo in the past, you'll be able to find these campaigns within the camp, uh, PPC manager and make adjustments as needed. Um, but yeah, the whole um, idea behind it is that it saves you a lot of time. Uh, it sets up your campaigns and best under best practices uh, and um, 
just uh, makes everything more efficient. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for demoing, Jackson. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you.